lean towards, right? So how do we begin the, the designing of a workout, right? Because we have to know how to train, first of all, like you actually have to be able to go into a gym or you know go running or whatever it is that you're trying to do. You have to be able to go do that. And then also you have to be able to design a workout, right? And you can start thinking about this stuff from a multitude of different angles. Um, but I think the thing, the place that makes the most sense is to bring it back to what we'll call it kind of basic anatomy, right? And you might be thinking like, oh, well, why do I need to know that? Like, surely I just need to know how to squat, bench, deadlift, or whatever else. You're like, that's, that's what I need to know. I don't need to think about anatomy, right? And you could definitely come at it from that perspective. You could definitely come at it from the perspective of the only thing you need to learn off at the start is this kind of exercise choreography. You know, it's like, how to do these different movements, you know, just like, you know, you could break down the, the movements that the body can do into a few different categories. You can be like, oh, some sort of squat movement, some sort of lunge movement, some sort of hip hinge movement, some sort of like horizontal press, some sort of like horizontal pull, a vertical press, a vertical pull. And maybe you could throw in a few different other things in there. But you're like, this is the basic broad categories of how human bodies move, right? And you might go, okay, look, all I need to do to start thinking about exercise is having a pretty basic understanding of how to do those, you know, broad movement categories. That is definitely true to an extent, right? You could definitely just start there. And I think that's where most people start, right? But we're trying to come at this from the perspective that we're starting from a blank slate here. If we were to go back in time and we're like, right, you actually want to have the best understanding, the best room for progress with understanding how to do this stuff, it probably is better to start from the actual start. Well, the actual start is you know, probably actually further back beyond this, but we'll, 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 we'll only go so far. Um, start from the start and go, what am I actually trying to do with those broad movement categories? Like how does the human body move? And the way we have to understand that is we have to kind of go back to, again, very basic anatomy. It's not like you have to know every single muscle in the body. It's not like you have to know every single joint structure, mechanic. You don't need to know all of that stuff. You just have to have a very broad understanding, a very basic surface level understanding of how the muscles in your body move and you know what those muscles are doing, right? Because that actually allows you to design a way more effective workout program 